Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro partner. In one of my YouTube videos, Natalie asked a really great question that I thought I would create a video about. She asked, what are the three things that I would most recommend to avoid spam filters when sending email marketing from MailChimp? So let's go across to MailChimp. You'll notice I'm in MailChimp at the moment. So the three things, the first thing, and I'm gonna make this extremely quick because they're actually fairly simple. The first thing is don't send to people that you don't have permission to send to or that aren't expecting your email. It sounds incredibly obvious, but I get so many clients that are buying email lists or sending to people that don't know they've subscribed. First of all, it could be a legal issue by sending to those people. But second of all, you want people to open and click on your emails and it's about that long-term reputation in your domain. And if people are marking you as a spammer, if they're not expecting your emails, for example, if they're not opening and clicking on your emails, it can hurt your sending reputation in the long run and can hurt your sending in the long run. So the first one is very, very simple. Don't send to people that aren't expecting your email or haven't agreed to get your email marketing. The second one is authenticating your domain. So under MailChimp, if you log into MailChimp, go to uh, websites and then just click on domains, just making sure that you can see it and I'm not in the way. And you'll notice that I have various domains added. And this is where, if you want to add a new domain to send, you have multiple domains, for example, and you want to add a new one, you can just click add and verify a domain. Um, and then you'll be able to send from that domain name in MailChimp. But so the first thing is this, we, we would add a domain. And, and when that happens, MailChimp sends you an email with an authentic, with a code. Okay, and you will just enter that code or click on the email. However, we need to take one step further and we need to authenticate. This is probably the single biggest thing you can do to get through spam filters. Absolutely critical to authenticate your domain. So if I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that my other domains are authenticated. So to, to authenticate your domain, you first add your domain. Then you will click, and it'll say something like start authentication. It's just, I've already clicked it. Then you quite simply follow the instructions. So select your, um, your, your provider where your domain is, GoDaddy for example, click next and MailChimp will give you instructions. This is a once off. You don't need to do it every time you email, you email, sorry. Do it right, right after you've watched this video. Authenticate or make sure that your domain is authenticated. What that does is what happens uh, very, very briefly, quickly, is when a server, you send an email to me, for example, my receiving server looks and says, has your domain actually said that you're sending from MailChimp? And if the answer is yes, you've got a far better chance of getting through uh, the spam filter and me actually getting the email. So critical, critical, critical. Please just do it. Make sure that uh, your domain is authenticated. Last but not least, um, very, very simple. But when you create your email marketing, please make sure you have text. And what I mean by that is you can see Disney here has, uh, they've typed in, you know, Disney Munchlings, they've typed in here as a fresh edition. And we'll look at Canva as well, which is a graphic design, let's call it a graphic uh, company, but they even make sure that they have text. Be careful of having too much text saved as an image. That's not what I'm talking about, text saved on top of an image. This is text that spam filters can read as it comes through. You need to make sure also that your grammar are correct or is correct, that your spelling is correct and so on. Don't make it look spammy. So many of those spam emails you receive have probably just got an image with a lot of text on the image and that's to try and fool the spam filters um, to, to let content through. But you've got a far better chance of your content getting through if you make sure you have some anyway uh, uh, text content that you've actually just typed in just like Canva have done here, and just like Disney have done here. Include your images, that's fine, but make sure you have typed text. So that's all I've got for you. But very quickly to sum up, only send to people that are expecting and have agreed to get your email marketing. Make sure you authenticate your domain. That's only a once off. And include enough text in your emails. But thank you for joining me. Please like my video and subscribe. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.